We begin with an NBC 15 News reality check protecting our most vulnerable. Right now, intellectually disabled crime victims may have to face their attackers in court and possibly even testify at trial. Local lawmakers want to change that and provide protections for them, similar to ones given to children. NBC 15's Andrea Ramey spoke with one victim's father. Andrea, he says this change in law is badly needed. That's right, Kim and Greg. Steve Hickman's special needs daughter was sexually assaulted five years ago, and he says it was like a punch in the gut when he was told that she might have to take the stand and testify. Video surveillance shows an intellectually disabled woman inch her way out the door and onto the streets of downtown Mobile Fat Tuesday 2017. Minutes later, a homeless man, Cecil Jackson, sexually assaults her. Courtney, who was left unsupervised on a group home field trip, is 25 years old at the time of the attack, but has the mental capacity of a toddler. For about three years, she was nonverbal. Her father, Steve Hickman, says when it was time for Jackson's trial, he was told despite DNA evidence that supported the state's case, defendants have a right to face their accuser, and Courtney might have to testify. Essentially, we had to offer a deal um, to the person that attacked my daughter um, to keep her from having to face him in court again, uh, be traumatized all over by seeing him. In a plea deal last year, Jackson was sentenced to 25 years for rape in the first degree and 10 years for sexual abuse first degree. And I al almost felt like I was being held hostage to make a deal with the devil to save my daughter. Those vulnerable people are not being protected in the court system. They um, are still treated as an adult in front of the jury. So I felt like it was time to make a change. Candace Blackwood prosecutes sex crimes and worked on Courtney's case before becoming an assistant district attorney in Baldwin County. Courtney's case and others like it are what prompted her to reach out to Representative Matt Simpson and work on a bill that would offer protections for intellectually disabled people. The proposed legislation would allow victims to testify away from the perpetrator through closed circuit television and allow out of court statements the victim made into evidence. We already have laws and procedures in place for witnesses who are children or under the age of 12 mm -hmm. when they testify and it would be akin to that. It's very similar. Hickman is hopeful the bill will pass and offer more protections for those most vulnerable. It's hard enough to watch your child be victimized and hurt but then to have to go through it all over again just to get justice. Simpson's bill passed the House unanimously last week and is now being carried by Mobile County Senator Vivian Figures in the Senate. In Mobile tonight, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.